Hi everyone, this is U Science Lab. Welcome to today's tutorial on data processing for Meco Practica. In this video, we are going to be using Microsoft Word to perform some simple tasks in this for this uh, practica. Okay, so this we have a uh, we have some information here at the Rafu Techno Technology Company. Staff posted to Human Resource by Resources by Musa. We have some uh, I have PTS, serial number, staff name, institution attended, course study. So we have all the some names there and the serial numbers. Let us look at the task. The task is that we should do this, reproduce the information above so that we reproduce this information on MS Word. We are doing it on MS Word. So here, this is what I'm going to do. To open an MS Word, this is the simple step you are going to take. Yeah, I have, I have MS Word pinned to my uh uh, my tax bar so I can just start it from here but just click on this and click type on W O R D word the Apple command and click on it here and it's going to appear like this. Then you click on black document. It's going to show a window it's because I'm already on Word that is why it's not showing that window uh, registration window. You just close it and click on blank document. Okay. So this is what you need to do. But I'm just going to go back to that Yes, since I'm already in Word, so I'm going to be using this. Now, this is what you are going to do: count the number of the number of columns. We have one, two, three, four columns. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rows. So you come to this space. So this is where I want. Let me. We are putting it here. Okay. Now, first of all, you have to type, before you do that, you have to type this here. Okay, you can see that this is centralized. What I'm just going to do is this. I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay. Because it's already there. So, this is what I'm going to do. Go to the Home tab. Now, this is where I want to type that. Let's assume that, okay. Okay, let me go to this. Let me just type that here. So, I'm typing it here. So, you come to this place. Click on Bold and click on centralize so you're going to do this so test is going to be here so you start typing on that okay so i'm going to post paste that so this is it but suppose you type when you type this and you click when you get to this point you tap enter and type this other one here but i'm going to, to save time and put copy and paste in it okay so the next thing you have to do let's go back to the to the table so we have to copy, copy and complete this table now. So let's complete the table. Like I counted, we have one, two, three, four columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rows. So I go back to that my table. So let me add my workspace. So let me insert my table. So you come to this place, click on this. There is a table here. Click on this. You can come to this place and click insert table, or you can just pick this. Pick four of these. One, two, three. Four, and the other ones down are uh, I think they are maybe they are not enough just click on it you can use the tab to add more uh, table okay so let, so let me insert my table now rows so let me just click insert table so this is number of columns four columns you need this and put four there then come to this and change this to what nine okay so we have to fix that with it. so just click on okay so this gives you the table and the next thing you have to do is this on this part you see that this one is very is smaller this column is smaller than every other column so you come to this place tap on this and move it this way okay if they are not centralized go to home just click i highlight everything and click on this to centralize everything this one here so to make everything to be central so here we have serial number i put my Keyboard on couch, there. so I have serial number. Then the next part, so the serial numbers are from one to eight. So I'm going to have, so yeah, this one should not should not be on centralized. So I'll highlight this and click to make it left. Or you can use Control Word L. So I have one, two. Just use your arrow keys to move them down. Three, four. Use your arrow keys to move it down. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, that's what we have there. Okay, okay. Now we have some name here about 
Okay, so what the staff name, institution name, course title. So I'm going to copy this and paste them there. But you need to type them. So you just come to this place, click on this, and start typing on it. Type those names there, but I'm going to paste it there. So let's go to the other one. So I have institution attended with it. Control C. So I come to this place. So you're going to type that here also. Okay, but me, I'm copying and pasting this. So you see that it has entered the other line. So what you have to do is to adjust this. Let it turn to this plus and then adjust this this way. So it's fitted to that now. Okay, if this is too much, you can also adjust this this way. And then also adjust this this way. Okay, so for the last one. We have course study, so you have to type that, but I just copy it, control C, and I'll paste that here. Okay, so you see that it has jumped to the other line, so I have to either move it from this point. Okay, okay, so we are good to go. So the next thing we have to do is to include these names here. So I'm going to pause this video and type those names inside of those colors. Okay, so this is my replicated table. I've typed these names here just like this. So now let's see the next thing they ask us to do. Okay, so we have reproduced the table information above. Now replace Adorafio in Adorafio Technology with your first name. So I'm going to replace this with my first name. Okay. So let me type Christian as my first name. So I'll put that here. Okay, you can put any name there, but you are, it has to be the same with the one you are using for your examination. Okay, now replace Musa by Musa with your surname. So this is where I have Musa by Musa here. So I'm going to replace my son the surname here. So I'm going to write type Sunday there. Sunday is not my surname, but that's what I'm choosing. But in your exam, you have to choose your normal surname. Okay. Next, hold. And it it resize the headings in the table. Okay, so let's go to the heading. So these are the headings. Just highlight it from here down to this side, and click on what bold. So they are now uh, bold. Okay. Then let's look at the next question. The next question is replace serial number with examination number and delete numbers one to eight. In and uh, impute your examination number of your choice. So I'm going to delete this. In fact, it was even better if you have read that to the end. So that's why it's good to read to the end. So I'm going to delete all of this. Okay, so let's impute uh, exam number. So the exam number may look like this GH0025. So I just assume this are the uh, exam number GH0045. So just let me just copy and paste this. Control C, Control C, Control V. So I just have to change this. Let's say 67, Control V. So when you're doing that, copy and paste. It's going to make your work more faster. Control V. But the exam number should the exam number should look exactly like the exam number should. Look exactly like the one that is given to you in your exam. Okay. Okay. So these are the exam numbers entered here. So next, let's look at the next question. Okay. So we have entered the exam and replace. The names in the start name column with any eight names of your relatives. So let's look at the staff column. So these are the staff columns. So you are going to delete all of these. In fact, it's good to uh, read all the instructions instead of typing all of these there. You you leave them blank, okay? So I've assumed that these are my names. I will just leave all these names there, and I assume I've typed the names there. But you don't need to do that. So you need to follow all the instructions to the end. And type 
you give all this place now that you type your name, let's say Sunday Gabriel. Okay. Let me say Chima Dominic. Okay, so these are names with all of this. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Okay. Type any atheist decision and causes of your choice in this decision attendant and cause study colon. And this will be easy. So you just come to this place. Type in institution. That's a Lagos State University. So first of all, type all this. Okay. Okay. So let's adjust this a bit. Okay, Ibadan, Uri, Ondo, Sis, Uri, Tabi, okay, this is the next edition, let's say, um, University of Lagos, okay, let's say, Amadu, Bilo, University, okay, so let's just add it, okay, so these are the various institutions that have entered here, so here, from so this, I will enter the course, let's say, Elect Elect and put physics and put electronics in our courses. We can put mathematics, computer science, uh, you can put data science, you can put history, you can put geography. So these are different courses, okay? So let's let us look at the next question. So we have filled this the course study under type your full name and examination number under the table and underline. Save and print the hard copy in landscape orientation. Okay, so I'm going to put my name underneath this. So come to this place, tap on this and tap. Move your cursor down. Okay, so we have it there. So we have to type it underneath it. So I, I can take this to left and line. Then use your tab key. Tap your tab key to move your cursor this way. So I'll put my name here. That's a Christian. Okay. Because you're asked to underline, you can actually just click Ctrl U. Or you come to this place and tap of this. Then type in a Christian Sunday. This is not my real name. So you tap enter, click your tab key again. Okay, because of we are already on the line. So you come to this place, remove it from on the line, click your tab key and move the cursor straight to this part again. Then put it on the line. Then type your example. Let's say G H two O two three two O nine. That's my exam number, okay? So we are asked to print this in portrait. So you can come to this place and click on layout. On layout, you can see the orientation here. Click on this and take it to what? Landscape. So we are, it is now on landscape. Now, to print, go to file. Click on print. You can preview what you want to print here. You can see it here, okay? So you see that it's, it's showing and it's okay. So you go to print. Okay, sorry. Let me take that again. You go to file. Okay. You click on print. So you can see what you want to print here. So before you print, you come to this place and select your printer. Because I don't have a printer installed, so I can save it to one or print it to one, a PDF file. So I'm going to click on print. Then I'll save it as mine. I'll save it with any mine. Word project. Okay, that's what I want to save it to. Okay, so that's all. If you have a printer, you select your printer and print directly. That'll be all. Thank you for joining us. And do not forget to subscribe and put on the notification button to receive more of this kind of uh, lessons from us, including physics, mathematics, programmers, chemistry, and all science related subject thank you very much for watching